Hello friends and very welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're having Javier from Spain and we're going to talk about the differences in between of Lithuania and Spain. Let's get started. Oh, you touched my tala. Gay culture in Spain and Lithuania. Main differences. Spain accept uh, the gay culture. Sexual, bisexual, any kind of sexual. Mm -hmm. Even a rape dog, it's okay. Okay. In Spain. And what about flower? Flowers could be in the future. Flower and the animals as well. About Lithuania, the situation is not the best, but it's getting better. Maybe it's gonna be possible the getting marriage uh, with the political party Lysbe. It's starting to improve in Vilnius, but in another cities like uh, Panevesis, where, where I was living, Clay, Peda, Kaunas, is a different kind of thing. When I was in a bar, uh, they thought uh, I was gay because I was singing What is Love in a karaoke. Hey, really? yeah. what is love? So don't sing this song in Panevesis because they are gonna thought you are gay. Actually, uh, there are also some gay par parades. Paris? <laughs> Paris. Uh, several gay demonstrations uh, in Vilnius during the summers, and also there are one good place named uh, Soho. They used to organize a drag queen uh, performance <gasps> every yeah. Thursday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say one thing uh, mm -hmm. gay marriage are not legal. In Lithuania. Now we're gonna move to uh, a little bit different question. Suggestions for those who want to move abroad but don't know where to start. I'm just gonna give uh, three main suggestions. Suggestions? Suggestions. Seductions. Yeah. <laughs> they need to organize a plan where they are gonna live, about mm. their job. Like in a strip club. Could be. You cannot prepare everything and you are gonna have surprises. Just uh, breathe deeply and then uh, go for one. And then drink some beer. <laughs> yeah, drink some beer. <laughs> no advertising. No, in that healthy point, lifestyle. Okay, beer, no, maybe vodka is gonna be better. That you can see that to be rude and Lithuania, but completely normal in Spain. One very rude thing in Spain, but not in Lithuania, is uh, no say hello to your neighbor. Actually, I'm trying to say hello, lavas or esbeki to my neighbors, but my neighbors don't say anything. That's terrible. Yes. Yeah, People are very reserved, in a way. It could be the reason. Mm. Also, in Spain, if you are not gonna say hello to your neighbors, they're really impolite. So don't do it in Spain. Mm -hmm. You need to say hello to your neighbors. We're gonna talk firstly about uh, Lithuania. It is not normal. You are gonna have sex in the first date. My I think it's not normal to anyone anyway. <laughs> no? No, because in Spain it could be possible. Yeah. It's different. Uh-huh. How? Say in one word. Emotion. It is the main reason. We are drinking. When we are drinking, we tend to be uh, emotional, and that is the point. Uh, we have this kind of fuck. No fuck, fat. fat. Like action. Fact, fat, fart. Fact. <laughs> Fucked. In Lithuania, in the first date, it could be, but it's really uh, barely. In general, as I say, no. No. Not the metaphor. You need to spend more time. Regarding everything what have been said before, where is it easier to make friends and any kind of special tricks, suggestions, observations? I'm not gonna talk about uh, Spain. I'm not gonna talk about uh, Lithuania. I'm gonna talk about everywhere. You just need to search a Facebook group, go to gathering when uh, coronavirus is gonna be over. Oh, over. Just uh, go to the club, go to the bar, go to the artistic uh, events, go to the concerts, go to the language exchange. Just find a good conversation and mm -hmm. you are gonna make friends. I think you need time. For example, I used to go to a surfing meeting. So. And also, if you want to live a good adventure, you can just uh, hijack it. And you are gonna meet uh, maniac. good people. Maniac as well. Good to be maniac in a good way, not in a bad way. Just have some passion. Yeah. The best way is uh, by plane, by train, by bus, also by food. You can try to go by to Germany, yes. You are gonna spend uh, several months, uh, even uh, years, but it's gonna be a good adventure. Just go home and relax, and that is all. 
All right, so that was Javier from Spain, and I have no idea what we're talking about today, but anyway, please put like, dislike, and comment below if you'd like to visit Lithuania or Spain by feed by flight. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna see you next week. Mwah! Arrivederci!